Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to walk through what a Squarespace sitemap is, how to create and fix them, and then finally how to submit your sitemap to Google to make sure that you can show up on Google search engines. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Henry Purchase, I'm the founder of SEO Space and I made the SEO plugin for Squarespace that's used by over 10,000 Squarespace users to rank higher up on Google. But getting straight into it, your sitemap is essentially a map of all the different pages on your Squarespace website, which is really, really important because when Google actually sends crawlers, i.e. when Google goes through your website to understand its content and ultimately understand what you should rank for so that you display on Google search engines, your sitemap is what it uses. So you need to make sure that you have a sitemap set up and you submit it to Google to maximize your chances of showing up on search engines. Now, fortunately, when it comes to Squarespace, Squarespace actually automatically generates your XML sitemap for you. So there's nothing that you need to do in order to create your sitemap, and there's nothing that you need to do in order to fix it. Squarespace automatically generates it for you, and you can't actually edit it. Now, for some people, they may want to edit the sitemap, However, from my experience, this is really edge case, you know, maybe 0.1% of people will ever want to edit the sitemap. So realistically, the fact that Squarespace generates it for you and doesn't allow you to edit it isn't a problem. In fact, for me, it's actually a massive time saver because you don't need to do anything. Now, if you ever want to access your sitemap, all you need to do is head over to your website. So this is my site, SEO space. And all you need to do is type in slash sitemap dot xml and then you're going to be taken to this page here which it looks like a lot of code but all it is it's a sitemap of all the different pages on your website so as you can see here you can scroll through these are all the different pages and urls on seo spaces website now we've got a lot of pages which is why there's so many different links yours may not look exactly like this so do not worry because as i said squarespace takes care of it for you now in terms of how to actually submit your squarespace sitemap to Google Search Console. What I want you to do, if you haven't already, is head over to Settings. Then from there, you're gonna to go to Third Party Tools. Then head over to Connected Accounts. From there, you're then going to press Connect Account and then select Google Search Console. Now you are going to need a Google account in order to connect Google Search Console to Squarespace. And Google Search Console is essentially Google's native platform where you can submit your sitemap and see all the data around how you're showing up organically on Google search engine. So it's essentially the home of SEO, maybe if you want to call it that. Once you've connected Google Search Console, all I want you to do is type in Google Search Console on Google, click Google Search Console, then press Start Now. I've got a number of different accounts, so I'm going to need to search for the one I've just set up. SEO space here in the properties. Don't worry, if you've never set this up before, you should only see the website that you just created. And then from there, what I want you to do is head down to sitemaps. And just before I do that, one thing I'll just draw your attention to as well. If you have just set up Google Search Console, you're not going to see any data here. It takes Google Search Console a few days in order to process things. So don't worry at all about that. You'll be able to do this step regardless. You're just going to head over to sitemaps. And then in this box here, you're going to see either this, where you'll have to add the whole sitemap URL. So you'll have to do this. This is a little bit less likely. This is only if you've actually set up a domain property. So if you've set up Google Search Console by actually connecting it to your domain, if you followed the step that I've just shown you, this won't be the case. However, I just wanted to show that. Now, for those of you that have set it up the way that I've just said, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see when you come over to your sitemaps here, you're going to see your URL there. So all you need to do is type in sitemap.xml and then press submit. You can see that I've already done this on this website. And as you can see here, there's 90 discovered pages on this site. So the sitemap that Squarespace generates, Google goes through it. It understands which pages that are on my Squarespace website so that it has all the information in order to display them on search engines. Now, if you've got a particular page on your Squarespace website that you really want Google to take notice of, you can get that URL and you can pull it in the top search bar here, press enter, and then from there, you can manually request indexing. 
So submitting your sitemap will give that map of all the pages on your Squarespace website to Google and say, hey, Google, please show me up on search engines. But you can actually manually ask Google to go for it yourself by just pressing this button here. So there you are, guys. That is a complete tutorial of everything that you need to know about Squarespace sitemaps. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about SEO, head over to my free one hour plus Squarespace SEO course, which I'll add as a first link in the description. Please subscribe to SEO Space's YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next one.